so I built a seven inch and I will just show it to you the sunlight. So for those who are interested in this frame this is an alpha monster seven inch frame and as you can see it's quite difficult to get stuff in there just to make it more difficult I put in a full-size camera there you should use a micro camera the smallest camera you can find two layers uh, you see in the bottom and flight controller uh, in the on the top and then on top of that um, a pre-sky XSR that has been de-pinned and then the Unified Pro 5 volt and I put in capacitor there the stack is um, this uh, Mamba Mamba stack uh, is uh, uh, 40 amp burst 50 and so on uh, the VTX antenna is screwed up, but it had the right color, so that was okay. Motors. Now here is the funny thing. This is a sunny sky. Uh, 2212. And it's uh, 1250 kV. The idea of this is not mine. Uh, Kabab did this 10 months ago and I wanted to see if uh, he was right and honestly yes I think this one flies fantastic he flew his on uh, 6s I believe this one is 4s infinity 1300 and my intention is to or was to go to 6s this one but as it turns out it flies so well with uh, 4S so it will take some extra motivation for me to actually do that and I think kind of I hang on to 4S it has a lot of power you don't need to worry about that part and I'm the kind of pilot who almost never uh, give full power anyway and it's the same here I really don't give full power one thing that is bad with this one is the camera angle it's like this what is this 15 20 degrees I would like to have on, on my 5 inch builds I have 35 degrees so for me it's incredibly relaxing and uh, to the point where I think I should actually get a smaller camera and squeak it in there so that I can get a little bit more angle but it works fine and I'm very happy when it comes to this frame maybe you can see in the top of the standoffs there I put a little uh, spacer I could not get things in there I know that the space between the ESC and the flight controller is quite large and I could probably uh, put them tighter together and I think that is what I will do because I really really like the low profile of this one but then we have the motors and they are very tall as you can see and that means I have props right in the field of view there and uh, it's kind of nice when you fly because it feels like you know you have two massive motors it's kind of much so I, I kind of like it for that but uh, it's not for everyone uh, my intention with this one was actually to uh, put a GoPro under it like below the battery or possibly put the battery on top and then have a gimbal there I don't know if it's gonna happen but uh, because I kind of like this quad to just fly around so but anyway um, if that happens then uh, I will show you um, this one hovers below 10 
amp as it is now. I haven't put it on the scale, so I don't know the weight of it, but it's heavy. The motors are like 58 grams each. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm very happy with these motors, really. The quality is brilliant. The, the um, machining and so on is fantastic, but <laughs> they said there are lots of sunny sky fake motors there out there so if you buy motors like this make sure you buy from somebody who really delivers real sunny sky motors they have on the box a little scratch scratch area and you scratch that to get a number and that number you type into a form in the sunny sky homepage and they will tell you um, if that is valid and it also tells you the company that was actually purchasing them from sunny sky themselves so which does not really mean that it's the same company as you purchase it from because i mean there are middlemen middlemen everywhere as well but i typed in the the number and it turns out was genuine motors i did not expect that because the price tag was pretty damn good so so i'm happy with this but it's not for racing okay it's cruising and for fun and i like it so uh, can i recommend this frame to anybody yeah my enemies of course because it's it's squeezed in it's really really tough to get things in there as you can see and with just you know three millimeter more standoff height it would be much better so um so this that's it uh 4s 1300 milliamp infinity whatever um these are batteries that I've been flying for many months on my 5 inch uh, setups and uh, they work fine on this one too. It hovers on like 35% or so uh, throttle and uh, it's plenty of power and there is space for success if I want. So 